Hey y'all, welcome back to Dots and Beyond. My name is Beth and today we are setting up February in my son's bullet journal and for his February 2023 theme, Kenny has chosen Dark Academia Love Potion. And so we are gonna go ahead and jump right in and get started. <laughs> For the line work in this setup, I am going to be using brown Pigma Microns just so I can avoid those really, really harsh black lines. From smallest to largest, I'm going to use a 0.01, a 0.05, and then a 1.4 for the thicker line work. I am going to use the element of moody framed artwork to tie in all of our dark academia elements. I have this tile stencil and I'm just going to use this corner piece of this stencil to give this frame a little bit more of an ornate look and feel. Y'all know I love a good stencil and when I buy a stencil, I'm always trying to find different ways to repurpose it using the shapes and things inside it for a purpose maybe that is different than where it was intended. I am going to be less fussy with these smaller frames however and just make a little half circle around every corner and then connect them with a squiggly line. Don't be so precious about these. They're going to look just fine even if some of the lines get a little too close to the straight edge. It'll all work out in the end once we color them gold to give them that big dark academia feel. Here at the bottom of the quote, I am free handing a little flourish, and then we're gonna switch to a 0.01 pigment micron to do the stencil work. The reason for that is that this stencil has some serifs on it that are very tiny, and you want that small nib to fit into all of those little sections. Like many of my recent videos, I'm gonna go ahead and stencil here on the cover page, and as we turn to subsequent pages, you're gonna see that I've already got the stencils put in, much like many of the straight lines as well. These are just two of the repetitive tasks that I just don't feel like you need to to see over and over again. I also had an enormous amount of footage to go through this video and it would have ended up probably a half hour long if I had left in all of those details. But now I am going to start sketching out our dark academic scene here on the right for the cover page. To do this, I've put a little bit of a banner around the word February. Then we're just gonna sneak in some other elements like the heart potion bottle. As I said, this is a love potion dark academia theme. Next to it, we're gonna have a little tabletop cauldron, a stack of books, a candle, a scroll, the steam from the cauldron, as well as some various elements to make a potion hanging down from the ceiling. And speaking of the potion elements, our quote for this month is Amora e Vita Essentia, which is Latin for love is the essence of life. And I finished off the quote page with a little framed version of our love potion. Now this is a number four Ohuhu marker. I'm going to be using all Ohuhu markers to color in all of our elements on this page. I will link all of them down below, but this number four we landed on with an Ohuhu because I had Kenny go through all of my pink swatches and choose the pink that he wanted specifically for the love potion. There is one other surprise page in this setup that has some other pink colors to it, but for the most part, this is the singular pink that I have selected to keep things cohesive. There are a lot of elements to color, but I tried to keep the color palette as simple as possible. So I do have this one very dark brownish color that I'm using mainly for cauldrons. I have two greens, one yellow, and then some varying browns for books and those sorts of academic kinds of things. A singular color that I use for all tabletops or floors, which is this brown color right here that will be repeated throughout the setup. And then I have a gray that you'll notice has been colored behind the cauldron and all of the other elements. I will use that sort of grayish brown color throughout this as well on things like glass as well as the backgrounds of each portrait. What I'm going to use for coloring in the frames is a gold archer and olive acrylograph. I have both a three millimeter as well as a seven millimeter so I can get into some of the finer points with the finer nib and the thicker spots with the other one. I did end up having to replace the nibs in both of these. It had been a little while since I had used them. To do that, I just used a tissue to pull the nib out and that is why Archer and Olive always gives you replacement nibs. Just stuck those back in, shook them up really, really well so that I could get them flowing like I wanted them to. Originally, I was gonna color these corner flourishes gold as well for the ornateness of the mirror and I just decided that was gonna be too much gold on gold and decided to fill them in with that super dark brown. And that will wrap up this cover page. I have decided not to go over these gold frames with gold paint like I tend to do. I think the shimmer from the Archer and Olive Acrylograph is good enough. I also like that it seems like a little bit of a burnished gold. With the cover page complete, we're gonna move on to Kenny's calendar, which you can see I have already 
sketched out the grid here. He does like a grid calendar, not a linear calendar. And I've also put in the frames for some of our dark academia wall art. Like the cover page, I'm going to go ahead and frame out February with a banner and make our little frames with the little half circle and the squiggly lines before sketching in just some various elements that I feel like fall into the dark academia vein. And there is a key, a potion bottle, a skull of unknown origin, as well as a crystal ball. In this space along the bottom, I just created a hodgepodge shelf of different items that you might find in the lab of an apothecarian who is creating a love potion. I also have this stencil I'm going to use for a couple of things. It does have this little domed area that I'm going to use for the days of the week, the Monday through Sunday. I also will use it for some banners later on in the setup. It was just handy that they were all in this one. And then it's time to color. I'm going to start off by using that gray as my background on all of the portraits. Like I mentioned, I'm using it for a number of different things and it's a great light color where I can go over it once or twice to darken it up and give it a little bit of shadow or just give an element a little bit of a darker look or feel than the original color which sort of is like having three colors in one instead of just the one gray and then I'm doing the same thing with that brown that I mentioned I was going to use for desks or floors to keep it all cohesive across each page Keeping the same colors that I had selected for the cover page close by, I'm just selecting those that I feel like are going to fit best in particular areas, trying to keep a little bit of each color in every area of the page. But again, just that one yellow, the two greens, a couple of browns or reddish browns, as well as this very dark brown. These are also very purposely two-dimensional images. While I do a little bit of shading with the gray, I don't go out of my way to come back in with a white gel pen and add some white highlights or go a little darker in some areas. It really is just a flat image and I'm okay with that without spending the extra time to really add all of that additional detail. Once we have all the coloring on the page, it's time to go ahead and fill in our frames. And I'm just gonna tell y'all, I spent an extraordinary amount of time coloring gold frames. I do love the quality and the opacity of an Archer Olive Acrylograph, but they do add additional time to a setup for sure. Now I had purposely left my date headers with just the pink background because I really wasn't sure what I wanted to do with those. Ultimately I decided to use a white Posca paint pen to fill in Monday through Sunday and y'all I hate this. I absolutely hate the way it looks. This is something I haven't fixed yet. Just haven't kind of figured out what I want to put in its place. Just know that not everything goes to plan and that's going to be illustrated even further as we get to the end of this journal that sometimes you have things you just don't like. For now, I'm just going to go ahead and move on to a new spread that's new for Kenny this year. He had asked for a place where he can just take general notes or have a brain dump page, so that is what we will have on the left. On the right will be a little bit of a money tracker for him for the month, just to have a little bit of a nod to the setup. I did name this a loot log instead of finances or something else of that nature. I did bring back that ornate corner stencil just to frame out this page and give it a little bit of interest. And then on the right, we predominantly have have a expenditure tracker on the left. On the right, I have a place for Kenny to note down savings, track his paychecks, and then what his balance is in his checking and savings account at both the beginning and the end of the year. And then editing Beth is going to go ahead and drop in this color so that you can see how the page looks like when it's fully filled in. You may not be able to tell, but this is a completely different day. This is a completely different cup of tea, and we are just going to keep going. Like I said, I did have a lot of footage on this one because it had so so many elements to it. For February, Kenny asked me to go ahead and create his own love potion that he can build for himself. And that's what this page is. We're going to go ahead and fill this in and then I'll kind of talk about how it's used. The very first journal that I set up for Kenny for February, I had a RuPaul theme and it put in there a place where he could write down his own charisma, uniqueness, nerve, and talent. And this is kind of a throwback to that page as well. To start, we're going to need our potion ingredients. I've chosen to illustrate those as these little test tubes. So I'm sketching out a little bit of a test tube holder 
that we will color brown here in a little bit to make it look a little bit more like wood. For the vials themselves, I did use a circle stencil to make sure that those were all neat and even. And then I'm just connecting everything with a straight line to make those specific vials. Y'all know I don't necessarily like showing all the rulering on a page, but to sketch this one out, I felt like it was important. It was a little bit different than anything I've done before. To explain a little bit of the structure, each one of these potion ingredients is numbered from one till nine. I'll color those a little bit later. And at the bottom, each one has its own corresponding line where Kenny can write an affirmation to go with that particular ingredient. And I've just used this heart stencil to indicate those and each one of those ingredients he chooses to put in his love potion, he can just fill in that heart. And then I wrote the corresponding Roman numerals down the left side of the column to make sure he writes the right affirmation for the right ingredient. And now I'm gonna go ahead and color some things in. So this is the page where I had to select a number of other pinks or reds to fill in our potion ingredients. For the main potion itself, Kenny did choose for me to have it as a completed potion. So it is the one solid color that we had chosen for his particular potion ingredient. Now what you could do with this is you could segment it. Like I say, I want to add three affirmations to my potion or four. You could have segmented those out and then colored them the color of the vial that you choose. But for now, we just wanted to go ahead and have a singular color for that completed potion. I used the same 04 to color Roman numeral number two. And then I just kind of randomly selected what went where based on how light or dark it was to give the page a little bit more interest with each of these different varying pinks. And then of course the last step was to color our little heart stopper that is down in our potion bottle. And that will wrap up Kenny's self-love elixir or self-love potion spread. I will give him a gold gel pen where he can write the names of his ingredients here on the vials themselves. And then down at the bottom, again, he will write an affirmation that goes with each one of those ingredients. I think he has a list of his own that he's working on to do this since he specifically asked for this. And then he'll just check off each one of these ones that he chooses to put into his own self-love elixir. Because this was a page with a specific purpose, I'm not adding any more embellishments to this, and we're ready to move on to Kenny's weeklies. And I am doing his weekly a little bit different this time. For those who have been with Kenny's videos for a little while, you know he normally likes to write in an 8x8 eight eight box. I'm going to fix this little error right here where I have an overflow of pen, but I have changed the dimensions of these just a little bit so they are seven dot grid spaces wide and eight dot grid spaces tall so that they are a little bit more of a shape of a frame starting off we are going to have a little bit of a mini calendar moment up here in the top left corner i am going to cut off that right side of this page and create a dutch door so that no matter which week he is on he will be able to see this mini calendar below that i'm creating another little potion moment with a cauldron here at the bottom as well as various ingredients hanging above it. And then like I stated, I changed the dimensions of Kenny's daily boxes so that I can make these an entire wall of daily portraits. To do that, I'm giving every single one of these that same frame treatment that we've done on the previous pages. And then I'm also going to color in each one with gray. This gives it that same sort of dimension, but it's light enough that he'll be able to write over it. And then I'm going to take the skinny end of this and draw little diagonals coming in from each one of the corners and connecting those in order to give it a little bit of a matte or a framed matte look. Again, it's something that he can write over. It doesn't actually show up on camera super well, but you can see them in person to see that it does have a little bit of that framed dimension setting back from the gold frame or what will be the gold frame. Once each of those frames is done, we're gonna move on to coloring this artwork on the left side. And you got it, I'm using the exact same color palette that I have used throughout the setup, again, to keep things as cohesive as possible. Once everything is colored in, I use the same pink marker to go ahead and just put a very simple day of the week and date on each one of the frames. I thought about doing this in a circle or an oval or a plaque or a banner and ultimately just decided that I would put it inside the frame itself. And then I'm going to go ahead and color those gold frames. Now to speed things up a little bit, I have already colored the frames for weeks eight and nine, which behind this tab, so we are gonna go ahead and cut off this Dutch door, round off the corners, 
and get ready to do the artwork on the other side. As you can see, Kenny's going to be able to see both sets of artwork from either side with this Dutch door system, and it does help that he writes incredibly small. For the right side, I decided to carry over the sort of magic or dark academic shelf theme, and on the top I just used some books and some candles, and then I have some books with a little trunk stacked on top, a potion, some more books, and then down at the bottom I put in another crystal ball. The coloring method is the same regardless of what page we're on, so I've gone ahead and popped in the colors here. It does help that February is 28 days and I can just get in our two or four weeks of February on this easy setup without having to worry about a fifth week at all. And now we're going to go ahead and move on to Kenny's playlist, which is a standard in his setups as well as his review page. This playlist spread is pretty simple. I wanted to make sure Kenny had plenty of room to write down names of songs and artists, but I still wanted it to have a little bit of that apothecary feel. So I used that stencil with the dome on it to create a little area where I'll just put in a music note and then color in the background just to give it a little bit of interest. And then of course I used that same stencil on the right to put the banners on this page, drew a little bit of a gramophone on the playlist page, and then I drew some potion balls Models down on the review page which after they were colored in I just hated and I'm gonna pop in the color here in just a second so you can see it this really reads like a perfume shelf so then I tried to darken it with some darker colors and make it something else that I would work with y'all I still hated it so I decided to turn off the camera fix it later with the help of some witches After all of that drama, you can see we are ready for the flip through and I'll show you how we fixed that page when we get there. While I did fix that page, I still haven't fixed these weekly headers. They may just have to stay the way that they are. And of course, it was a custom spread in Kenny's idea, but if you choose to recreate some version of your own self elixir spread this month, please let me know in the comments below. Or just drop in any sort of dark academic emoji that you feel like fits the vibe. And here is that corrected review page. As you can tell, we have now gone from potion bottles or what started to look like perfume bottles to this shelf of items. Now I want to go ahead and cover this up right here with this piece that we had cut out from the Dutch door but it wasn't quite wide enough to do what I needed it to do so I used a piece that I had cut out from something else previously pasted it in and then drew my new illustration over the top for this illustration I went with a little mixing bowl a skull a potion another cauldron and another candle. Most of my decisions I really can live with but this is one of those ones that I just had to change. And I'm pretty sure Kenny likes this one much better as well, even though he only got a peek at the other looming disaster. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked this video, you know what to do. Go ahead and give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already, and I will catch you in the next one.